In times of desperation, people will believe what they want to believe. And so, we gave them what they wanted to believe. This looks promising. Pleasure to meet you. You ready to get this game going again? Welcome to the celebration. I'm having a good time with you. I'm telling you. Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. Will Smith and Kevin Hart are teaming up to star in and produce a remake of the 1987 holiday road trip comedy classic Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. The original stars John Candy as a struggling salesman and Steve Martin as an uptight businessman who find themselves joined at the hip in a cross-country struggle to get back to their families for Thanksgiving in the face of one mishap after another. Along the way, the film emphasizes the importance of family and making new friends as unlikely as they may be. Michelle Obama spoke at the DNC National Convention last night and laid it on the line. She says Donald Trump is the wrong president for our country. She said he's in over his head. So let me be as honest and clear as I possibly can. Donald Trump is the wrong president for our country. He has had more than enough time to prove that he can do the job, but he is clearly in over his head. He cannot meet this moment. He simply cannot be who we need him to be for us. It is what it is. Now, I understand that my message won't be heard by some people. We live in a nation that is deeply divided, and I am a black woman speaking at the Democratic Convention But enough of you know me by now. You know that I tell you exactly what I'm feeling. You know I hate politics. But you also know that I care about this nation. You know how much I care about all of our children. So if you take one thing from my words tonight, it is this. If you think things cannot possibly get worse, trust me, they can and they will if we don't make a change in this election. If we have any hope of ending this chaos, we have got to vote for Joe Biden like our lives depend on it. It's time for Things I've Learned from Seinfeld. You're really going to town with that turkey there. Oh yeah, I got a big appetite. Oh, Jerry, you got no mustard. It's on the door. What, this yellow stuff? (laughs) No, I said mustard, Jerry. Dijon. (laughs) No. That's Bush League. Hey, hey, wait, 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 wait. What are you going to leave it there? It's like half a pound of turkey. Oh, no, I can't eat that. You can't eat a sandwich without Dijon. Yeah, you're right. I really should keep more of your favorites on hand. (laughs) That's it for Things I've Learned from Seinfeld. Ted Nugent says Joe Biden is painfully deranged in a mental capacity. Great, now play cat scratch fever, responded redneck non-faced masked attendees of the Oklahoma State Fair. The head of the Postal Service will testify before Congress on Friday about the delay of mail and why he's such a fucking idiot. I hope they do something about that. This is the time of year they deliver the old farmer's almanac. That St. Louis couple who pointed guns at protesters will speak at the Republican convention next week. They will be two of the lesser known criminals to speak at the convention. Actor Ryan Reynolds has sold his gin company for $300 million. Thank goodness, I know it's been a rough few months for actors. Americans are waiting longer than previous generations before purchasing their first home. That's because they have to wait until their kids are old enough to get part-time jobs to help pay the mortgage. Time for Nobody Gives a F***. A woman was told to leave a Verizon store after she refused to wear a mask, so she urinated all over the storeroom floor. She was arrested and then immediately hired at Waffle House. Hey, crazy Americans, nobody gives a f***. Scientists claim that there are 10,000 types of bacteria that live in and on us. Oh my God, how many if you're a Kardashian? Hey, horrible families, nobody gives a 
Domino says it's planning to hire more than 20,000 workers this year. Benefits include a signing bonus, uniform reimbursement, and a light-up sign for the roof of your car that tells the world, I have hot food, so get out of my way. Hey, Domino's, nobody gives a f***. Thanks, everybody. We have a new episode of the Reynolds Report for you every weekday. Be sure to check out NSS Live starring Frank D'Angelo, Tuesdays and Thursdays for NSS Live.